You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below, and be sure to smash that like button. Hat tip Charles Turner, LSU's fifth-year senior center, was named the Outland Trophy National Player of the Week. If you're not familiar, the Outland is given uh, annually to the best interior lineman in college football, either side of the ball. Glenn Dorsey won the Outland back in 07. Uh, Chad Lavallee was a finalist in 03. Alan Fanica was a finalist back in 97. Uh, Ethan Posick was a semifinalist back in 2016. So um, the, the really interesting thing about Turner is, is, remember, Turner just a week ago against Missouri left the game with a hyperextended knee. They, they thought it might be serious. They really dodged a bullet. But, man, a week after leaving the game against Missouri with a knee injury, Turner's back out there playing. LSU runs for 200 yards for the third consecutive week, and he wins the Outland National Player of the Week, which is phenomenal. And you know what? I mean, kudos to Charles Turner because he's a guy that I think most fans can respect and appreciate because he's a little bit of a throwback and certainly an outlier in that he waited his turn. If Charles Turner was on the 2019 National Championship team, you realize there's only three players left on LSU's team that played in 2019. It was Charles Turner, John Emery, and Josh Williams. That's it. Those, those three were true freshmen in 2019. Those are the only three players left that played on that team in 19. And when you think about Charles Turner, he came in from IMG and he was really skinny. He was like a 200, I don't know, 250 pound center. I mean, he was really thin. They had to put weight on him. And so they knew he was going to redshirt and he bided his time. And last year really was supposed to be his opportunity. And remember, you had Liam, Sh they brought in Liam Shanahan from, from Harvard, if you remember, ended up playing center for a couple of seasons which was really, some people thought, kind of a maybe a, uh, a commentary on the lack of development from, from Charles Turner, that you had to go to, to Harvard and bring in Shanahan, who hadn't played center. Um, and then last year was supposed to be his year. Man, you get the opener against Florida State, and Garrett Dellinger starting at center, which just kept being a reflection. We talked about it so much, it was just a reflection on Turner. And if it was the fact that he didn't practice well, or whatever the case may be, Ultimately, they got to the point after that Florida State game where it was like, kid, you got to play. And he played really well last year. Kept getting better as the season went along. And then even late in the year, you saw Marlon Martinez play well, but Turner just kept throwing him out the boat. And he just kept on keeping on. So in that respect, I think it's a great testament to patience and, and, and perseverance. And it's great to see a guy like Charles Turner have the success that he's having. So congrats to Charles Turner who was named the Outland uh, Trophy National Player of the Week. And not only Charles Turner, but I wanted to take a quick second and give some kudos to Brad Davis, the LSU offensive line coach. Um, the Joe Moore Award, which is given annually to the best offensive line as a unit, uh, today announced their midseason honor roll, and LSU was was on the list. So remember, this is given to the, the offensive This is an award given to the offensive line as a group. LSU won it back in 2019. And it was so interesting because a year ago on this show, I fielded a lot of calls and texts and emails and tweets from you saying, hey, man, should they fire Brad Davis? He ain't the guy. This offensive line stinks. Is Brad Davis overrated? It was a lot of that. And I understand because the line went through tremendous turnover and tumult last year. But the thing I kept saying over and over so much that I'm about to say it again, and you probably know exactly what I'm going to say. LSU used six different line combinations through its first eight games a year ago. You ended up starting a true freshman at left tackle and at right tackle. That had never happened before. It was a mess a year ago. And look at where you are now. I mean, you used three different centers on the road against Missouri and still put up 500 yards of offense. Three, including a true freshman in DJ Chester after Marlon Martinez couldn't get the snaps after Charles Turner was injured. Think about it. Three different centers, including a true freshman. And then against Auburn, Emory Jones gets hurt. You put a true freshman in a right tackle and Lance Hurd, and you don't miss a beat. When you look at this unit as a whole now, I mean, you have a unit that is veteran, that is experienced, that have a combined, your five starters, 
have a combined 127 starts in their LSU career. All of your starters now have started at least 20 career games. Because now you look at Campbell and, and Emory Jones. Uh, Hurd is going to start with Jones out, but I understand Jones is your starter right tackle is what I mean. Have started at least 20 games. You've got experience, you've got talent, and you've got a really good cohesive unit right now on the offensive line. So major kudos to Brad Davis as well, who persevered through the struggles of a year ago to build this line now where you've got five really good starters. You like Martinez and Chester rotating in. Lance Hurd rotating in. I mean, you got eight or nine guys you really like and feel like you can count on in a game situation right now. And the future is bright. Hurd and Chester are true freshmen. Uh, Campbell and Jones are both back next year for their junior seasons. And then you got four 2024 offensive line commits as well. And you could always go supplement in the portal if you need to. So not only is this unit playing at an exceptionally high level, but the future is really bright. It's something we talked about from the day Brian Kelly was hired. The two positions he has recruited and developed and pumped into the NFL more than any other tight end, offensive line, and you're already seeing that manifest. So congrats to Charles Turner, named the Outland Trophy National Player of the Week, and to the LSU offensive line, named to the Joe Moore Award midseason honor roll for the best offensive line in college football. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact, and be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.